Influential member of the uh, fetish finish and uh, I call it the light and space artists from California. These pieces are all titled Circle and they're cast poly resin. And uh, get some. Beautiful color things happening with these. I think these are all from 68, 69, 70. This piece is titled Circle Amber Rose. And this is 33 and 5 eighths. And I would estimate that it varies from about uh, Two inches thick to a half an inch thick. Now in the press release they talk about uh, how Duane was a master of uh, his mixes for the, the resins and uh, his ability to transform these industrial projects into artworks that really reveal his fascination with light. This is titled Blue Ring. That's about five and a half by 19. Well, this is actually a uh, beautiful installation here. We'll just walk around. Now, Duane was, uh, as I was saying, one of the the masters of the light and space movement and also I think uh, this would be called part of the fetish finish artists. Now uh, in a lot of ways this kind of relates to uh, what some of the minimalists were doing in New York but uh, of course this is California and uh, They've got a more, what can I say, decorative view of minimalism. And uh, I think one of the other thing that's very nice about these is that uh, you get a chance to experience this transparent color. Circle Blue and Smoke Flow is the title of this piece. 1970 cast polyester resin, 69 and 7 eighths by 70 and 1 eighth by 4 and 7 eighths. And uh, yeah, on this one he's got a, 
variegated wafting cloud of darker color sort of drifting down. And uh, I'm not sure, but uh, it looks like there was also a lot of time spent on the uh, polishing and uh, sanding of these pieces, almost like he was uh, finishing lenses for a huge telescope or something. This is titled Circle Gold Rose 1970. Check out the other galleries. Oh, this is nice. Curved wall clear. This is 1969. And it's 88 by 91 by 20. And, uh, well, just thinking about the uh, physical problems of pouring this much resin into a mold is uh, pretty astonishing. And uh, it would be interesting to know how much these pieces weigh. Well, we've got the more, I guess, standard uh, geometric forms here. gem shaped this is titled double pyramid 1968 oh this is nice too this is beautiful double pyramid fluorescent green and uh, yeah, I love the way that uh, they've really brought these up to the sharp edges on this column blue this kind of makes me think of uh, John McCracken Cast polyester, this is 140 inches tall by 22 inches wide by 12. And uh, yeah, that's a beautiful piece. This is column lavender. 1968. This is titled Column Fluorescent Yellow 1968 and uh, I would say that there are some Contemporary artists that have kind of been uh, influenced by Duane, even though they don't know it, I think that uh, some of Dustin Yellen's uh, poured resin pieces relate a lot to this. Oh, there are some beautiful color things happening. We'll walk into the uh, main space here. Okay, this is the uh, this is the showstopper. This is titled Double Column Gray. This is 139 inches tall by 84. So each one of these is about seven feet wide. And uh, 
Yes, that's an impressive uh, pour of resin. Now I've heard that, uh, that part of his early career that uh, he would be casting these things and uh, things like the weather or maybe the purity of some of the chemicals he was using would vary and uh, so he would have to uh, scrap an entire cast and start out again. And, uh, you know, working with these kind of materials, it's not cheap. And so each one of these is kind of a, a miraculous feat just to get these pieces poured and get them to uh, cure up the right way. Oh, that is beautiful. All the work in the uh, the back gallery has been reduced down to uh, just the grays. It is calling smoke gray. It's titled Double Column Gray, 1975. And that's about 22 by 5 by 9. This is column gray 1975. Well, these are kind of nice in that they are tabletop size. And, uh, well, a couple of blocks up from here, they've got a show featuring Brancusi and a bunch of American minimalists. And along with this and some other things, I would say that uh, kind of purified minimalism is uh, kind of being revived recently. Smoke Gray, 1972 to 74. It's 141 by 22 by 10. This is James Calm reporting from Daffod's Werner on Dwayne Valentine works from the 60s and 70s and as always Thank you. Thank you. What do you call that uh, instrument you're playing? It's a, a hand pan. A hand what? Hand pan. Hand pan. Two sheets of steel hammered out. It's a concavity. Sort of like a, a steel drum, yeah. except you don't have the drum part. Exactly, like a Trinidadian steel pan. Somebody just had the idea to invert it.